So the state of Karnataka will definitely be one of the big highlights. It's a Congress-ruled state. It's also where the BJP wants to make inroads and then there is the JDS as well. But what about dynasty politics in the state? India Today's Nabila Jamal brings you this special explainer about the political highlights, the candidates and constituencies of Karnataka. Even as the BJP so far has slammed the Congress party for Parivarvad and family politics, this time in Karnataka, the Congress party has yet again fielded children of several sitting ministers for the upcoming Lok Sabha 2024 polls. But strangely, the BJP has kept silent on the matter. It could be because of B.S. Yadurappa and his two sons. B.Y. Vijendra and Raghavendra, both in positions of power in the state of Karnataka. Raghavendra has yet again been given a ticket from Shimoga. Vijendra is currently the president of the BJP in Karnataka and also is a member of the Legislative Assembly. And it appears this has already irked some of the BJP leaders, including former minister of the BJP, K.S. Ishwarappa. Ishwarappa is so upset that his son, Kampesh, has not been given a ticket from Haveri. He says now he is going to take on B.S. Yadurappa as an or take on Yadurappa's son, B.Y. Raghavendra, as an independent candidate from Shimoga. This is his bid to lodge a protest against B.S. Yadurappa and family. Well, let me take you now through Karnataka's Congress list. Kin of seven ministers have got tickets for this Lok Sabha elections. Chikkodi, Priyanka Jarkioli, who's the daughter of PWD Minister Satish Jarkioli. Priyanka is up against Anna Saheb Jolie, who is seeking his second consecutive bid. From Belagavi, Mrinal Ravindra Hebbalkar, who is the son of Women and Child Development Minister, currently Lakshmi Hebbalkar, he's going to be fielded from Belagavi. From Bagalkote, Samyukta Patil has been fielded, who is the daughter of textiles and sugarcane development and APMC Minister Shivanand Patil. In fact, this has already angered Vijayanand Kashapanavar, who is seeking the nomination of his wife, Veena Kashapanavar. She landed up in Delhi, tried to meet with Malikarjun Kharge, but doesn't seem like it worked. Samyukta Patil now faces PC Gaddigaudr, Bagal Court MP since 2004. From Bidar, Sagar Khandre is being fielded, who is the son of Forest Ecology and Environment Minister Ishwar Khandre. He'll be taking on Union Minister of State of New and Renewable Energy, Bhagwant Kuba. From Bengaluru South, Congress has fielded Samya Reddy, who is the daughter of current Transport Minister Ramlinger Reddy. It's said that Congress's internal survey has favoured Samya Reddy. In fact, Ramlinger Reddy wasn't very happy or very to field his daughter, but later has relented, agreeing to the demands of the Congress High Command. In 2019 Lok Sabha elections, the Congress had fielded veteran BK Hari Prasad from there against Tejasvi Surya, who lost by 3.3 lakh votes. From Davan Gere, Prabha Malikarjun has been fielded, the wife of Mines and Geology and Horticulture Minister SS Malikarjun. Prabha is also the daughter in law of veteran Congress leader and Davan Gere South MLA Shamanur Shiv Shankarappa. Davan Gere Lok Sabha constituency comprises of eight assembly segments and is dominated by the Veera Shaiva Lingayat community. From Shimoga, Geeta Shivkumar, the sister of Education Minister Madhu Bangarappa. Geeta was the wife of Sandalwood superstar Shivraj Kumar and daughter of former Chief Minister S. Bangarappa, had contested for, from Shimoga Lok Sabha seat on JDS ticket in 2014 and lost. A group of people in the Congress, including Madhu Bangarappa, are said to have been in favor of fielding Geeta Shivraj Kumar again. Uh, in this upcoming elections. Now it appears due to shortage of candidates, the Congress has also fielded relatives of some of the senior leaders, like Radha Krishna Doddamani from Kalaburgi. He is the son-in-law of Congress President Malikarjun Kharge. He is into education. He is one of the trustees of Dr. B. R. Ambedkar College. In fact, the native of Gulbarga, he was initially reluctant to contest, but eventually agreed. He's now been working behind the scenes to manage and strategize Kharge's electoral campaigns. He will take on Umesh Jadav, who has been fielded again by the Safran Party from the constituency for Lok Sabha 2024. From Koppal, Rajshekar Hitnal, the brother of MLA Raghavendra Hitnal, has been fielded. This election is also going to be seen as a battle between the Karadi and the Hitnal families. In fact, the brother of Rajshekar Hitnal has expressed quite some confidence that the Congress will win back the seat this time. From Bengaluru Central, Mansoor Ali Khan has been fielded. He's the son of former Union Minister K. Rehman Khan. And he's going to be up against a fight with BJP's PC Mohan at Bangalore Central. Mandya, while the rival BJP and the JDS combined is yet to hammer out its seat-sharing agreement, the Congress functionary there, Venkat Ramane Gowda, also known as Star Chandru, has hit the ground running for the Mandya seat. He is the brother of independent MLA from Gauri Bidnur, 
K.H. Puttaswami Gowda, who is currently supporting the Congress party. Hassan, the Congress High Command has cleared the name of former MP late G. Puttaswami Gowda's grandson, Shreyas M. Patil. He is likely to go up against former Prime Minister H.D. Deve Gowda's grandson and incumbent MP Prajwal Devanna. This will be in quite an interesting battle there given that Puttaswami Gowda had defeated Deve Gowda in 1999 Lok Sabha elections. Also worth noting here is that Shreyas missed winning Hole Narsipura Assembly seat in May 2023 polls by quite a whisker. While speaking about JDS itself, which is now an ally of the BJP in Karnataka, H.D. Kumar Swami and Deve Gowda are pushing for their own science. Prajwal Revarna, the grandson of Deve Gowda and Nikhil Kumar Swami, both names have been proposed by the JDS to get a seat in Karnataka.